Okay, so we started using uh, some formulas down here. We told variable 2 to be whatever path 2 is. Okay, let's take that a little bit step further. Uh, let's say we want more than just ant control. Let's say we want bees, bee control. Okay, we want bee control too. Uh, and how about roach control? Okay. Okay, so now we have an issue with keywords. If we go back here to our variables, we're only going to we're only using ant control. So it's going to use ant control to replace the variable on every page, including our bee control and our roach control pages. We don't want that. So we actually want to tell it to use what's in path one. So to do that, go ahead and right click, create a formula, and let's do path replaces variable. So in this case, our keyword is going to replace our variable, okay, which is our path one. Again, this could also say path one, and that would work exactly the same. Okay, so let's go look at the blueprint and see what would be created here. Okay, it's going to build 24 pages, and here's our URLs, all our ant controls for every city, all our B controls, and all of our roach controls. You'll notice here in the variable one keyword, all of our variables are ant for any ant control pages. Our variable one is B control for everywhere B control is used, and for roach control, roach control is used. Okay, so we're looking good. Let's go ahead and build these pages. Okay, here's all our pages. Look at our ant control for Yuma. Looks good. Okay, we'll look at our B control for Phoenix. Okay, now I notice my image didn't change here. All right, well that's because we didn't tell it what image to use. If you go to our bug type, all we have is ants. Well, now we're dealing with bees and roaches, so we need a formula here. And in this case, it's not just going to be to replace it with what's here. So we're going to right click, create a formula, and this time we're going to use path compare. So we're going to say, essentially, if ant control is in the path, or even the word ant is used in the path, then I want my bug type to be ant. If the word b is used in the path, then I want my variable to be b, or bees. Okay. So to do that, we're going to right click, and create a formula, and do a path compare. Okay. And in this case, we're saying our keyword, or our path one, if it contains the word ant, then we want our output to be ants. Okay, add that. And we'll do another one here for if it contains the word B, the output is bees. And one more if it contains the word roach. We want the word to be roaches in our variable. We'll close. And you can see the format of this formula that was created here. Okay, So this is saying if our path, it's called keyword, which is path 1, contains the word ant, then our variable is ants. Okay, Same thing with bees and roaches. Now if we build these pages, all right, now when we go to our bee control page, you can see that you use the right picture. It's using bees.jpg. Okay. All right. Let's go back and look at our roach page. Ugh. Okay. Roaches. All right. Next, we're going to take it a little more advanced because uh, I might not want to use the exact same template for every page I create. Uh, I might want to use a specific template for this roach page, for example. This text might want to be more specific to roaches. Okay. So let's go look at that. 